Okay, hello and welcome to the CPM site directory publishing video tutorial. We've had a lot of uh, questions, emails, tickets and calls uh, with publishers having a few difficulties uh, signing up and getting listed within the site directory. So this uh, video tutorial aims to clear up any uh, questions that you may have uh, very quickly. So the site directory you'll see is uh, it was a new add-on uh, a few months ago to the XYZ network that allows um, CPM uh, publishing and advertising uh, to complement our CPC advertising platform already. So you can see here we have some sites listed and uh, we'll be looking at uh, this one here, evildivacomments.com. They've uh, been listed and approved. So we've got more info. You can see more info about the particular site and it's got the, the social media buttons here. We've got PageRank uh, API, so it's PageRank 3. Also, just by entering your Twitter URL and your Facebook uh, URL, it does automatically count your likes and followers with the API, as well as a RSS feed as well through FeedBurner. Um, we do have Alexa stats, so you can see the site's Alexa ranking and how many links in it has, as well as any uh, historical data available from Alexa. Below, you'll see a, a description about the site that you can uh, edit yourself as well as your positions. So the position available on Evil Diva is at the top right, 160 by 600. We can take a, a preview of this uh, unit by looking here. It's a wide skyscraper unit. It's 1,000 impressions, cost $5. And if we click on the website, we can actually see the unit has been embedded correctly there. So this is a, a site that has been set up correctly and in order to get to this level, you do need to have a, a publisher account. So once you've logged in as your publisher, admin your account username and password, you will come to this page and you can see the CPM block here. Here is the CPM block. So the first step would be to add a new publisher, CPM publishing URL. So for this example, we're going to be using our Yahoo theme from Blogspot. There's the domain. This is a test example to show publishers. Thank goodness for spell check. Publishers, how to add a site to the site directory. So Twitter URL, we're going to leave this blank for now. You, you can enter it yourself. You do have a category here. We'll put this in the social science category. And add URL. So it's going to take some time while it adds the site to the database. And there we go. We can see it's been added. So the status here is pending. And uh, this is under Manage Add Publisher URLs. It takes us there. So if you want to access this later date, you can just simply click Manage CPM Add Publishing URLs. So it's pending. So if we leave it here, hit, leave it here. It will remain pending for a long time because in order to get it approved by an admin, you need to actually add a new position. So we've added a URL. Now we need to manage a add a position. We click on manage positions here it says no records found so we add a new position the position it's going to be right here we're going to put a 125 by 125 standard ad block here so in order to do that call it the right nav bar we're going to select our CPM ad block to be a button, 125 by 125 pixels. Do we want text or banner, catalog or, we're gonna put all. Keep it open and this website is gonna be very, very affordable. Just one dollar per thousand impressions. And there we go. It's 
So we've now got a position. It's still pending, but we can preview our size. The preview is not working today. We can edit or delete the ad, and when, once it's been approved, we will start to have additional features such as preview, uh, create the JavaScript code, and manage the ad more. So the next video will be an approval of a CPM position. So we're just going to wait now. CPM positions are usually approved within 24 to 48 hours, so please be patient, and uh, once it's been approved, you will be able to move on to the next video. So bye for now.